Select the shape in Illustrator and go to the gradient panel. You can find that in the window menu and you can select linear, you can select radial, you see radial there, and you can also go for freeform. So freeform, you've got this lovely freeform and it adds four points. Now, it doesn't always add four points, sometimes it's like two points, but you can select these points, you can move them around and the colors that are generated, I'm not certain how they work them out. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green but you can change your colors. So with that one selected, you can go over here and say green. So you can quickly see green there, stop there is green. And I'm using draw in points. What you can also do, you can go for spread. So say you want that green to spread all the way through it, just put it to 80. So at 80, you can see the whole thing virtually becomes green. Or if I had it red, the whole thing becomes red. And you can see again the color there, or blue. I'm gonna put it back. So I'm just gonna to go to spread, Put it back to a 10 or zero, doesn't particularly matter. And you can still move it around, you can see the effect there. You can also delete it. So you don't have to have four, you can have more than that. Just delete it, you can see now I've removed one. But you can also, you can see, add this little plus there. You can click there and add some additional ones. So click another one, add another one, and create all sort of colorful designs very quickly with this freeform approach. However, what you can also do is you can see you've got opacity as well. So if I change the opacity, I've got that one selected. So that one selected there, opacity, just set it to zero and you can see what happens. You can see through, you can see the gradient there. And as I move that around, you can see again the gradient, obviously it's white over that side, gray over there. So you can see through the, to the background, which is really useful. You can select one of the other ones, say. Just go for that one and again, Pasty, set that to zero. And again, you can see it becomes gray because you can see through it, even though obviously the stop itself is still red. So you've got those settings. What you can also do, lines. So if you go for lines, let's go for lines instead. So now with lines, you can add these lines and that's quite nice as well. And that adds an option for just sort of creating a nice sort of flowing design so you can move around. You can see, you could that sort of area there but with lines, you can also, you can join, becomes like the curvature tool. So you can also modify these points. You can hover over there. You know what? I can drag that there. So it makes the whole thing red. Or if you want, of course, you can make it very localized area. Again, drag those over. And again, you've got that slight nice design. Gives you an opportunity to create all kinds of amazing designs with those. And you can add multiple of these lines as well. So another one, let's just click another one. And this obviously, again, it's red, but it doesn't have to be red. You can make it, it does help to actually select one. So let's just select that one. You have to select it before you change color, otherwise it will just all change color. Not very useful. So then you've got blue there. You can make that one say yellow, and you can make, make that one say green. So you can see, you can create a hole, and you can still move them around as you do that. You get this dragged out that way. Now, if you drag it off, you notice then, I just dragged it off that actually deletes it, which is not always ideal. Unfortunately, you can't extend it beyond that because of that. However, move them around and create. And of course, you can add some more. If you want to add another one, and again, change the color, make certain it's selected, and then change the color, go there, select there, and so on. Maybe go for blue and much, much more. If you've been doing some other work and you come back to the gradient, how to edit it again? Go over to the gradient panel, click edit gradient, and then you can see all the points, lines, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.